This is orange juice, cream, ready whip, and vodka. And to my friends, don't worry, I'm not going to like, you know, go crazy and start drinking again. I mean, no, I, I'm too vain. I can't be thin and drink, so. I did that thing where I paid a hot fucking stud who wasn't a professional escort. Hundred bucks to massage me on the beach. I had to take public transportation again, of course. Um, it took me a long time on the weekend. But he couldn't stay that much longer than an hour. That was disappointing. That time when that guy massaged me in the mall and in his car, he was also hot and young, by the way. Um, we, quote-unquote, fooled around and made out a wedding for three hours. And I wanted that again. Only it was different on the beach because the guy could, he could lay down and he could massage my legs both sides. But he was getting a little too, um, you know, I'm like, no, don't do that. We're in public, okay? Granted, we're not, we're not, someone's not right beside us, but if we can see them over there, we can, they can see us, you know. Don't want to do that shit. And there's kids around the beach, too. Plus, I had my period, and I didn't want to spoil the mood and tell him. You know, I had to stop him, too. Didn't want him to find the string. If it was the beginning of my period, like the beginning days, I would have had to wear a pad and a tampon. I was only wearing a tampon. It was supposed to be on the beach, and, you know, and... and or he would just be, you know... Massaging me, PG, whatever. But you know, men. <laughs> so why am I drinking? I guess because it was really nice. Even for the hour and a half I was with them, you know? It was nice just to pretend. I'll pretend. I'm not in any emotional state to have any kind of boyfriend. He made it clear he's not, you know, he's dating other women. He's not, you know, interested or whatever. And I feel like he just wants to, you know, F me. So. And even though I don't want a boyfriend, Per se, I also don't want to just, you know, be with a guy who only likes me because he thinks I'm hot or sexy or whatnot and just wants to have me. I just don't want that either. I wish I could find Doug again. I don't know if Doug would even talk to me. I'm sure he still lives here in Massachusetts. If I could find him, be like... I've known him as long as I've known my musician ex. I met the musician ex shortly after I met Doug by one of my lyricists looking for collaborator ads. And, you know, back when I was in my late 20s. And 
I really wanted to be with Doug, but the musician, you know, lived right down the street, and I could see him all the time, and he could just hold me. You know, Doug lived far away, and he was doing his band stuff, and I could never see him. And so, I went and wrote a song after, like, about Doug, you know, I'd rather be with you, but you can't be with me, you're chasing your own dreams. You have your own life to lead, and I'm not strong enough to resist his touch, because he makes the pain fade away, and I hurt so much. Um, Doug was cool. He was an FWB, but he cared about me. That's the thing. It's not that I don't, it's not that I want a boyfriend, steady boyfriend, why not? I'm not in any, I can't give in that way, but if I'm going to have sex for the first time in five years, and then some change, you know, five years and a few months, I want the guy to at least have some caring for me, you know. Doug cared about me. Doug was willing to listen to me, to read, you know, my childhood stuff, you know, at that point I hadn't, you know, hadn't gone through even more shit like I have now, but, and he wrote Desert Rose for me, you know, so that proved he actually read it, he wanted to read my philosophical stuff about, and listen to stuff about my life and whatnot, and then he wrote a beautiful poem for me. See, he was hot, 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 hot for me, okay? I mean, I hadn't wanted to mix business with pleasure. I mean, he, I mean, he, back then, I mean, he got me into bed fast, but, but, in the end, you know, he, he cared about me. He was my friend, and, you know, we connected, and he shared stuff with me, too. I don't want to just, not to say I can't imagine it. This guy today in his thirties and fucking oh, a little bit taller than me, good looking, fit, buff. Like, he had told me he'd be able to pick me up. I wanted to tell his teeth, and I'm like, I'm almost as tall as you. And I'm like, you think you can? I'm, I was wondering, you know, because I'm big and I can't. Men generally, even if they're as tall as me, usually they're, they they can't pick me up. Like you would a little five foot two wisp of a thing, you know? This guy did it. He, I wanted to know if he could pick me up sideways, like cradle me in his arms standing up. He did it. Okay? That was kind of cool. I told him ahead of time, I want to see if you can put your money where your mouth is. I told him I weighed around 160. And he picked me up, no problem. He was cool. He'd probably be a fantastic lover. I can, I, I'm sure he would. But I'm all messed up, you know. I'm not the same woman I was when I used to just sleep around arbitrarily in my 20s. Um, and only enjoy it maybe less than 1% of the time. It was nice. I can't. It's not something I can do all the time. It's hard enough finding it because I don't want to do it with just anybody. This massage on the beach thing or massage in public. Or, you know? And this guy I paid.
I need to find submissive men willing to do it, you know, massage me and pamper me for free. Cause they love doing it, you know. Told you about that last guy. He licked and sucked on my feet and toes. No one had ever done that to me in my life. And that was his idea. He wanted to do it. Couldn't do that in the mall, though. Um, I trusted him enough to, you know, to go to his car because he'd originally said, oh, we can sit where the food, you know, where they have the food and everything. And I can, I, I, he had just wanted to massage my feet. And, um, that's what I really need. But I still have to be attracted to the guy. I can't just do it with anybody. As somebody who wants to do it as much as I want it done, and, you know, I don't have to pay him because, you know, can't afford to be doing that. I did it once because I wanted to, wanted to have that kind of power where I just, you know, this is about me and I'm paying you a hundred bucks and in lieu of a regular massage where I would pay like sixty. You know. But he kept wanting to touch me up front and uh, I'm like, no, he, you know, there's people over there. We can see them, they can see us. Um, I would have liked him he, to kiss on my neck and lick on my ears more than he did. All in all, it was, I mean, it was worth every penny. I used to pay for massages all the time. Fifty plus a ten dollar tip, you know, and they hurt. He started rubbing my legs and I screamed. He was, I'm like, he's like, oh, you're really tight calf muscles. I'm like, yeah. Really tight calf muscles. Valleys in California when I had a personal trainer for free. Just for one session. They would give for free if you were a member of Valleys. He told me that I needed to use that long thing that you roll. He did it on me. Rolled that thing on me. And, and I, was, I, was, I was crying in the gym. Crying. That's how badly it hurt. He's like, you have really tight leg muscles. You need to do this all the time. But I wasn't in any... I couldn't. My membership wound up ending anyway. I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money to renew it. And, you know... And then when I was in that shelter for six and a half months, I certainly couldn't, you know, do anything like that. Even if I could get, like, a cheap membership to the gym or something because I was in the shelter. Um, it wouldn't have mattered. I still couldn't carry that thing around with me. Lawn, whatever you call it. A roller. I don't know what you call it. Mm -hmm. This is orange juice, frozen banana, my mom's cream she uses for her coffee, and ready whip, plus vodka. Bought a pint. I drank over the 4th of July. You know, with my shelter friend, I told you guys that. So, I already broke my whatever. I don't care. I would have enjoyed this today. I was nervous. I would have enjoyed it more if I had been a little tipsy. Not drunk, just a little tipsy. You know, just a little boozed. Like Alan said on Two and a Half Men, one of his episodes, where he, like, Ah, your daddy doesn't get drunk, Jake. He gets boozed. A little boozed. shouldn't be drinking, Laura, I know. My shelter friend asked me, you know, do you think you're an alcoholic? I said, well, I know their criteria is very strict, and they call people alcoholics who just simply, if you drink ever to get drunk, you're an alcoholic. And, and she's like, well, that would, I would even fall under that. She's like, everyone who drinks mostly falls under that. Most people don't, you know. Like, yeah, I know. No. I was 
depressing. I wanted him to stay longer. I thought I'd be paying the hundred dollars, but you know, it would be longer. He could stay longer, but he unfortunately he had told me he would stay longer than even he wound up staying. And probably never hear from him again. He told me he'd give me back half of it if I would go do, you know what, to him in the car. I'm like, go away. You have to leave anyway. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Never taking money for doing anything like that and never would. I used to do it all the time in my 20s, but not for money. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't do shit like that. I don't do that for money. And I wanted to pay him to massage me, to pamper me for an hour so it would only be about me and nothing would be expected of me in return. I mean, he pressed right up against me when he was sitting in back of me and doing a chorus and then he wanted to get on top of me and massage my back but I took it he hurt. I'm like, you, you're too heavy. It's hurting me. So he had to get on the side and then I really enjoyed it. And I especially enjoy when he rubbed my legs. It was nice, I don't know. Still depressing though. It would have been nicer if I didn't have to pay $100.